Well, you know, in the off season, like anybody, where you're putting your time in is is basically on the with your conditioning and on the offensive end of the floor. So, um, I thought he got a lot better last year offensively over the course of the year um, with his ability to score around the basket, his low post game. But where we need him to really take a step this year is at the defensive end of the floor. Uh, he's already one of the elite rebounders in the league. Um, very capable of being the best rebounder in the league. Um, his defense has got to improve and be more consistent. If he does that, if he brings great energy and intensity um, on a nightly basis, he's one of the rare guys in this league that uh, can dominate the game regardless of what happens on the offensive end of the floor. I mean, he can make an impact on virtually every play in the game. Uh, if he brings that kind of energy and intensity. Uh, so, you know, that's where we really need him to make a step. The offense will come. He's going to be a good offensive player. Um, but we need him to take the step at the defensive end. Do you have a block shot to benchmark him? No, but, uh, but I would say, you know, what I'd eventually like to see is, you know, I think he's a guy, and it's not easy to do this, He's a guy who's capable of leading the league in rebounding and block shots. That's a very difficult thing to do. Not very many guys have done that because, you know, obviously having to go block a shot in a lot of cases takes you out of rebounding position. And so a lot of guys, if you look back, who were having real big rebounding years were not necessarily great help defenders because they wanted to stay home and rebound the ball. But Andre's got the ability to do both. and. Um, I'd like to see him do that over the next couple of years. I, I think to do that, he needs a lot more repetition defensively, and he's got to get better at that end so that he's reacting quicker. Uh, that'll be a major emphasis for us going into the year.